Hi, I'm Terry Johnson, one of the co-creators of The Quirkles, and we're here today to do another fun science activity. This one can be used with the Kitchen Chemistry Cow book, or the Colorful Caroline book, or the Gilbert Gas book. So a lot of fun ways to do these science activities. I have a friend with me today. What's your name? Hannah. Hannah. And do you love science, Hannah? Yes. Yes. And do you love the quirkles? Yes. Yes. We love the quirkles, don't we? Well, today, what holiday is getting ready to come up in November? Thanksgiving. That's right. Yeah. So today I'm just going to show you some activities that you might have just around your house. We're gonna start, we have some milk in a saucer. Now, who ever thought about putting milk in a saucer? I don't know. I don't know, that's kind of crazy. This is whole milk, so that means it has a lot of fat in it. So, Hannah, take your red food coloring, and is red a primary or secondary color? Primary. It is a primary color, and Hannah? We both have primary colors We do, out. we don't do, don't we? Now, can you put, just a drop in the center of your milk. Now, so next to your red, watch where I'm gonna put it, Hannah. I'm gonna put it right here next to my red. And the tricky part is to keep it not touching the red just yet. So we only have one other primary color <coughs> to use. Hannah, what do we have? Yellow. We are going to do a, that's gonna look like magic. It's not magic, it's science. Here, can you take your Q-tip? And inside your little cup, Hannah, we have some Dawn dishwashing liquid. I would like for you just to dip your Q-tip in your dishwashing liquid and put it right in the middle of your food coloring. Watch, Hannah. Look, what happened? Can you see it? What happened? Your colors did what? What did they do, Hannah? They spread out. They spread out. Do you know why? Because milk is made mostly of water. And water, the molecules really like each other. When you put the dishwashing liquid in the it's kind milk, of green. it breaks those molecules away and they spread out. Look, we have art in a saucer. Isn't that cool? Yeah. We're gonna put a little different spin on the traditional baking soda and vinegar activity. Everyone loves baking soda and vinegar and you can get a lot of mileage out of that. But we're gonna add some sound to this. So this would be a great one to use with Susie Sound perhaps, or of course our Gilbert Gas Book. Now inside our beakers, we have vinegar. But Hannah, I think everything <coughs> is more fun when we add food coloring to it, don't you? Yeah. Okay, let's just put a few drops in our vinegar just for fun. I just think it's more fun to have colored vinegar. I'm gonna pick it up and swirl it a little bit to get it mixed up. Can you get that? Perfect. Now, Hannah, inside our cup, this white cup, we have baking <coughs> soda. But we're going to add Pop Rocks. So let's put some Pop Rocks in our baking soda. Can you just pour those Pop Rocks? Now, wait a minute, Hannah. What do you think is gonna happen when we put the baking soda in the vinegar? Well, it'll, well, since it's mixed with Pop Rocks, when I pour it in, it's going to be, it's going to overflow out of the bottle, but through the whole thing after it, it's poured in, it's going to pop. That's pop right, because it's going to release that carbon dioxide gas, isn't it? So are you ready? One, two, three, let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now, I can hear it popping. Do you hear it? Now, what kid wouldn't want to do that on Thanksgiving Day? Hannah, I'm sure glad you were with me today. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. For more Quirkles activities, view us on YouTube, Quirkles YouTube, or on our website, quirkles.com. Hannah, say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.
Bye-bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.